let's be real guys what do we even know about javascript memory maybe it has the stack which holds non primitive values and then the heap which holds large non primitive values like objects and arrays but while i was cloning javascript i had to research about it and i realized it's wrong it's funny it's sad but in this video we are going to change that i ran few experiments on javascript using javascript and i had to do that because i'm cloning javascript that means i had to clone its memory management as well and then i found few things that i believe will absolutely change the way you look at javascript i think you should see this so we have this index.html this variable that i have pablo we just want to know where it is going to get stored is it going to get stored in stack or heap we'll start from that now the question is where do we check this maybe you have seen it but you have not used it previously this memory you can see here is you can actually take a screenshot I mean, snapshot of a heap at any particular point let's see if our power is there take this snapshot now there are like multiple things here the thing that we are interested in this particular part because we stored a string and if you go here there are so many strings let's just search for pablo and there you go it's highlighted right here what does this tell you see we are not looking at any blog we are not looking at any article or any tweet or whatsoever we have just did a simple experiment looked at javascript heap snapshot and our string is there so it clearly breaks that myth that strings are stored inside stack but let's do one little more experiment function provided by node.js on the process it is running which is memory usage and inside you can actually check what is the heap memory that is being used i divided it by 1024 twice just to convert that into mb because this is given in bytes now what we are going to do a very simple experiment okay i will store a string inside the memory and i just want to see what was the heap memory before storing that string and what is the heap memory after storing the string i will for just so not long this is before let's store the string now see just storing a small string a string which takes only five to six bytes is not something that we want to do okay so that is the reason why i'm going to repeat this string maybe let's say ten thousand times and you have to actually print it so that it will be stored like you have to use it in some sense so that it will be stored otherwise it will just be garbage collected uh, now let's see what do we get all right people time for the truth let's run this node index dot gs all right the pablo has been printed oh wow so we did not invoke the function memory use so let's do it before and after rerun it there you go so memory use is 5.601 mb which is after and while i am scrolling up i'm expecting it should be less than 5.6 mb and as you can see it is 5.1 mb which is significant different let's increase the size little bit more and see what happens i'll add this two more zeros that's it load index dot gs so now memory use is 52 mb and of course the memory that we initialized with was 5.1 mb so what does this tell you again even the small string huge string any kind of data is stored inside here and i have this one v8 article which actually agrees with this i mean we are agreeing with v8 not v8 is agreeing with us so javascript values in v8 are represented as objects and allocated on the v8 heap not the stack it is the heap and this is important no matter if they are objects arrays number of strings i mean i i just can't give you more solid proof than this like what does heap do and what does stack do? well talking about stack how do we dissect stack how do we understand what it's doing so basically this is your call stack and what we are going to do start adding function calls inside this so this is one second three four so on and so forth and of course what happens so when i'm trying to add one one more at this point the stack gets overflow and you get that error so what you are trying to do is have a deliberate stack overflow error all you have to do is add a counter to it and if we rerun the code it should stop at this number which is triple seven eight now guess what we are going to do what if i want to add a particular variable let's say let a is equal to 10 and let's say let name is equal to pablo so based on our previous logic these two values should also get inside the stack now since these two are also occupying space of course the stack cannot add more function calls so let's see what happens so as you can see now the counter basically the amount of frames that are added to the call stack in this case previously where this triple seven eight and now what are these these are now six eight zero five one both of these two, two things in some way are getting stored in the stack what if i let's say create a big string then to accommodate that big string it cannot take six eight zero five it has to probably just wrap it up in you know 3000 stack frame because 
ఇలా టూ బెట్లు టూ బెట్స్ లో వాట్ హ్యాపన్ ఇస్ ఈవెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ యాడింగ్ అ స్ట్రింగ్ విచ్ ఈస్ హండ్రెడ్ టైమ్స్ బిగర్ దాన్ వాట్ వీ హ్యాడ్ ప్రీవియస్లీ సో దిస్ స్ట్రింగ్ సైజ్ ఇస్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ నాట్ ఈవెన్ అఫెక్టింగ్ హౌ మచ్ స్టారెన్స్ దాట్ యూ నో హౌ మెనీ ఫంక్షన్ ఫ్రేమ్స్ ఆర్ హౌ మెనీ వేరియబుల్ ఫ్రేమ్స్ యూ కెన్ యాడ్ టు ద స్టాక్ అండ్ వాట్ డస్ దాట్ టెన్ యూ దాట్ థింగ్ ఇస్ గెటింగ్ స్టోర్ సమ్ వేర్ అండ్ వీ ఆల్రెడీ సీన్ దాట్ దాట్ ఈస్ ద హీ సో దెన్ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ థింగ్ యాక్చువల్లీ స్టోరింగ్ సో దిస్ లెట్ ఏ అండ్ నేమ్ దిస్ ఆర్ యాక్చువల్లీ స్టోరింగ్ ద అడ్రెసెస్ ఆఫ్ వేర్ దిస్ పాబ్లు and this number 10 on stores what do we learn from this it actually does not matter the size of the variable that you are storing to the stack because it is anyway just going to store the address actual value is going to store inside the heaps that is stack for you so now all this knowledge that i uh, got about javascript memories like stack just holds addresses and heap i holds the actual values i wanted to you know reflect that in the language the clone of javascript that i'm building uh, my task with this thing was first of course read the variables that are present but now i cannot discriminate between primitive and non primitive if it is a value that needs to go to the head as all as simple as that and i realized that javascript actually plans your memory way advance before you know actually executing the code it's actually a good planner and uh, it goes through your code twice we actually went about this in your in our hosting video but there is a creation phase and then there is an execution phase so the memory that you are seeing here is from the creation phase where it is just taking attendance of the variables giving it a placeholder value called as undefined but not taking that extra step and you know wasting resources on going finding the value but for the function it actually takes that extra step the reason for that is of course the hoisting so that you can execute code like this so this say hello function when it starts executing it it already knows its value so it will actually go ahead and give you this hello from parallel j but if you try to access let's say variable print name since print name it does not know its actual value it has just kind of took the attendance of it and if you run that you will just get undefined so that's the creation phase uh, memory and it happens while it is building abstract syntax tree which is like a just a version of your source code that javascript can actually work with for interpretation for compilation for optimization purpose and i am doing that inside this particular file here you can see as soon as it gets out a token which is of this type which is basically a variable it runs this function memory dot write so this this is the first phase of the memory that is a creation phase and it will store that inside nothing actually it will just store the name inside stack memory but the value will not be given so that is the creation phase now the second phase when we actually start executing the code things are a little bit different so it again writes you know to the memory but the difference here is it actually happens in the interpretation state if i go at this line as soon as it finds a variable declaration it does again write to the memory the only difference here is it has found the result like what is the actual value of the particular code either a value you know directly it is coming from the code or then you have to actually solve that value like in this case the actual value is not directly given you have to go and find the value so this is what it is actually doing so in the execution phase it does two things it assigns the value it can reassign the value in case you know you are reassigning the variable to look at the memory.js that i have implemented the stack is basically an array and it is for addresses and the heap is basically i have used hash map just because you know the optimization side the speed and i think hash map is quite close to how he is represented internally so that's why you know i chose that and then like show function like reading value and writing the value so this is where you know writing function we have been using a lot uh if the value is not actually inside the memory you have to create that memory node if it is actually inside it and if you are trying to write it that actually means you are trying to update the value no reassign the value so these two important things and they basically decide what to do in the create memory node as you can see it is just creation phase wala stuff so it has nothing to do with the heap it will just go to the stack take its attendance and give it a placeholder undefined but for function it will actually give it the value and in case when it goes to the execution phase this function will usually run which is like reassigning the value or actually assigning the value inside the heap so that this undefined is changed to this which is basically address of where this value is now stored inside the heap memory this was quite interesting most importantly the mental model that i had is now much better after implementing this thing and again weird itself is telling that so if i if you have to just now recompress uh um, javascript memory management in one single line i would say stack memory just holds address and heap memory just holds the values thank you so much and now i'm feeling quite sleepy i don't know if i'm going to edit this video 
let's see i really want to do it tonight only uh, i don't want to upload it tomorrow which will be probably what day 11 january let's see how it cool guys thank you so much i'll see you